All truth passes through three stages. First, it is ridiculed. Second, it is violently opposed. Third, it is accepted as being self-evident. It is difficult to find happiness within oneself, but it is impossible to find it anywhere else. The majority of men are not capable of thinking, but only of believing, and are not accessible to reason, but only to authority. A pessimist is an optimist in full possession of the facts. Women remain children all their lives, for they always see only what is near at hand, cling to the present, take the appearance of a thing for reality, and prefer trifling matters to the most important. Talent hits a target no one else can hit, genius hits a target no one else can see. A man can be himself only so long as he is alone, and if he does not love solitude, he will not love freedom, for it is only when he is alone that he is really free. You are free to do what you want, but you are not free to want what you want. Man is never happy but spends his whole life in striving after something which he thinks will make him so. Education perverts the mind since we are directly opposing the natural development of our mind by obtaining ideas first and observations last. This is why so few men of learning have such sound common sense as is quite common among the illiterate. Marrying means, to grasp blindfolded into a sack hoping to find out an eel out of an assembly of snakes. We can regard our life as a uselessly disturbing episode in the blissful repose of nothingness. We seldom think of what we have but always of what we lack. Therefore, rather than grateful, we are bitter. Just remember once you're over the hill you begin to pick up speed. A high degree of intellect tends to make a man unsocial. Religion is the masterpiece of the art of animal training, for it trains people as to how they shall think. The shortness of life, so often lamented, may be the best thing about it. The person who writes for fools is always sure of a large audience. Happiness belongs to those who are sufficient unto themselves. For all external sources of happiness and pleasure are, by their very nature, highly uncertain, precarious, ephemeral, and subject to chance. What people commonly call fate is mostly their own stupidity. If we suspect that a man is lying, we should pretend to believe him, for then he becomes bold and assured, lies more vigorously, and is unmasked. The universe is a dream dreamed by a single dreamer where all the dream characters dream too. People of wealth and the so-called upper class suffer the most from boredom. That human life must be some kind of mistake is sufficiently proved by the simple observation that man is a compound of needs which are hard to satisfy, that their satisfaction achieves nothing but a painless condition in which he is only given over to boredom. The more unintelligent a man is, the less mysterious existence seems to him. To use many words to communicate few thoughts is everywhere the unmistakable sign of mediocrity. To gather much thought into few words stamps the man of genius. The two enemies of human happiness are pain and boredom. After your death you will be what you were before your birth. To overcome difficulties is to experience the full delight of existence. Almost all of our sorrows spring out of our relations with other people. Hatred is an affair of the heart, contempt that of the head. 
The greatest wisdom is to make the enjoyment of the present the supreme object of life, because that is the only reality, all else being merely the play of thought. On the other hand, such a course might just as well be called the greatest folly, for that which in the next moment exists no more, and vanishes utterly, like a dream, can never be worth a serious effort. If anyone spends almost the whole day in reading, he gradually loses the capacity for thinking. This is the case with many learned persons, they have read themselves stupid. Genius and madness have something in common, both live in a world that is different from that which exists for everyone else. Compassion for animals is intimately associated with goodness of character, and it may be confidently asserted that he who is cruel to animals cannot be a good man. I know of no more beautiful prayer than that which the Hindus of old used in closing, may all that of life be delivered from suffering. We forfeit three quarters of ourselves in order to be like other people. Vulgar people take huge delight in the faults and follies of great men. We will gradually become indifferent to what goes on in the minds of other people when we acquire a knowledge of the superficial nature of their thoughts, the narrowness of their views and of the number of their errors. Whoever attaches a lot of value to the opinions of others pays them too much honor. There is in the world only the choice between loneliness and vulgarity. All young people should be taught now to put up with loneliness, because the less man is compelled to come into contact with others, the better off he is. It is difficult to keep quiet if you have nothing to do. He who does not enjoy solitude will not love freedom. Great men are like eagles and build their nest on some lofty solitude. If children were brought into the world by an act of pure reason alone, would the human race continue to exist? Would not a man rather have so much sympathy with the coming generation as to spare it the burden of existence, or at any rate not take it upon himself to impose that burden upon it in cold blood? The real meaning of persona is a mask, such as actors were accustomed to wear on the ancient stage, and it is quite true that no one shows himself as he is but wears his mask and plays his part. Indeed, the whole of our social arrangements may be likened to a perpetual comedy, and this is why a man who is worth anything finds society so insipid, while a blockhead is quite at home in it. Man is the only animal who causes pain to others with no other object than wanting to do so. There is something in us that is wiser than our head. Do not shorten the morning by getting up late or waste it in unworthy occupations or in talk, look upon it as the quintessence of life, as to a certain extent sacred. Evening is like old age, we are languid, talkative, silly. Each day is a little life, every waking and rising a little birth, every fresh morning a little youth, every going to rest and sleep a little death. The tallest oak tree once was an acorn that any pig could have swallowed. Our life is a loan received from death with sleep as the daily interest on this loan. Pleasure is never as pleasant as we expected it to be, and pain is always more painful. The pain in the world always outweighs the pleasure. If you don't believe it, compare the respective feelings of two animals, one of which is eating the other. The safest way of not being very miserable is not to expect to be very happy. The greatest of follies is to sacrifice health for any other kind of happiness. When you look back on your life, it looks as though it were a plot, but when you are into it, it's a mess, just one surprise after another. Then, later, you see it was perfect. Mostly it is loss which teaches us about the worth of things. 
The highest, most varied, and lasting pleasures are those of the mind. Every miserable fool who has nothing at all of which he can be proud, adopts as a last resource pride in the nation to which he belongs, he is ready and happy to defend all its faults and follies tooth and nail, thus reimbursing himself for his own inferiority. A happy life is impossible, the best that a man can attain is a heroic life. Optimism is not only a false but also a pernicious doctrine, for it presents life as a desirable state and man's happiness as its aim and object. Starting from this, everyone then believes he has the most legitimate claim to happiness and enjoyment. If, as usually happens, these do not fall to his lot, he believes that he suffers an injustice, in fact that he misses the whole point of his existence. Always to see the general in the particular is the very foundation of genius. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.